after two and a half years. Um, I feel great. Um, it was a, a for me it was like a roller coaster uh, for emotions. So we had a lot of highs, but also a lot of downs. But in the end of the day, it is a awesome ride. So after two and a half years. that I bring a lot of old-school vibes you know so um, I come from the time um, I, I start DJing and producing also in the early 2000s and uh, there was the time for hard trance scooter sound stuff like that and I think I bring a lot of these vibes into the band and then uh, yeah it's a perfect match for the spirit you know what I mean From the singles, oh, that's quite hard, man. It's really hard. Um, fuck 2020, but I love also bass drum. But I think fuck 2020 first. And from the album tracks, uh, it's Hang the DJ. You can hurt in every production Sebastian and in every production is, is my heart my soul and my, my feel not in wandering star <laughs> because this track came not from my side um, but in the other ones you heard a, you heard a lot of my vibe you know I think you heard my 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 opinion of scooter and also my vibe in every scooter track that I made Every single is hard to produce because we are four persons um, and every person give his energy and his ideas um, to the production and then it's hard to, to get it together. I think... Uh, which light switch is which? No! Uh, fuck! I don't know! Yeah, in, uh, so I'm a scooter fan since the 2000s. So uh, records like Nesaya, uh, the Logical Song, but also the older one like Atlas Summer. I, I really love the old productions from Rick. So, and from my side, it's it's a big thing to to take all the spirit and all this vibe into the new productions. You know, the the thing is about put the spirit from the older tracks with the sound from the newer sound, uh, from the new one so and, and bring it together to one big thing and uh, i think that that we yeah we fixed that on the new album And the idea of uh, these days came from my side. 
So yeah, it was myself. We we had this second part, this psytrance part on on uh, Hang the DJ, and I uh, told the guys that it would be great to have a progressive psytrance track on the record as well, maybe as an instrumental. And they think it was a good idea. And then after the production, the, the, they feel the same what I have on this record. And then uh, it was an album track. Rave Teacher was the first track that I made uh, together with uh, the guys. It was also the first production to find each other in, 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 in the production way, you know? So and after, after the next tracks and singles, we, we as a team come more together and everybody knows what the other feels. And um, Michael and myself um, had the idea to, to make a new version on, on, on Rave Teacher and HP feel the same and we made a, a, a version for the live show in Moscow and we played it and everybody was going crazy and then okay we decide to reproduce Rave Teacher to bring it on the album so and now it's more in the in the in the whole album I think So I don't know what's happened in the future. So uh, when we uh, in the studio next time and we got to run and produce every track after the next one, bam, 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 then maybe you can get a record uh, in the end of this year and uh, beginning next year. But I will say that what I said uh, in the past Instagram stories as well or live sessions, in the end of the day, you have you need a, a perfect product and not a record with 20 tracks on it and every single is like yeah okay next one yeah uh, uh. I feel um, you have to find the perfect match the perfect way for your record and when you need time like a year or one and a half or maybe two years it's okay but in the end of the day you have a perfect record and I feel that that is the way and not bring every year a record every year a new album no that's not the right way